So I'm a lifelong Pattersonian. And when I was growing up, there weren't many open spaces in our city. My parents had to drive me to other municipalities so we can enjoy somewhere else to play, putting mileage on their cars and paying for gas. That's not good for the environment. So that's why we want to keep Pattersonians in Patterson and have safe places to play and invest in our parks so they don't have to leave our city to enjoy themselves. So in Patterson, we prioritized our parks. In fact, one of the first grants that we applied for when I assumed office back in July 1st, 2018, was money to improve our parks and create a plan, a vision plan for all of our parks. Because we want residents to have at least a 10 minute walk to any park from their homes. We're very fortunate to have a partner. Green Acres has benefited Patterson tremendously. Behind me is the Great Falls, symbol of our city, a symbol of strength, a symbol of equality, because people came to Patterson seeking employment, seeking better lives for their families. So we have a Quarry Lawn project that's gonna call for a river walk here. We have the Vistas Park, which is the highest point in Patterson. And so we wanna send a strong message that Green Acres, Patterson, are perfect together. As long as I'm in office, I see this partnership only becoming more powerful. We've got the ATP site that we focused on, the Valley of the Rocks. We've got the Quarry Lawn Project. We've got so many things that are working for us because we're working together. And we wanna augment the appeal of the Great Falls National Park to make it more inviting to residents. So I only see that the power of this partnership growing stronger between Green Acres and the city of Patterson.